It is common practice to send biosamples overseas, outside of South Africa for analysis. Factors such as costing, infrastructure, and easy access to the right equipment have all been barriers to keeping these samples on home soil. But local proteomics infrastructure, enabled by diplomics, such as the Decipher Hub in Cape Town, is helping to change this trend. An example of this is the world-renowned work coming out of the Cape Heart Institute, in particular, the global study on peripartum cardiomyopathy, PPCM, under Professor Sliwa Hanley. We paid the professor a visit to find out more about this disease, the global impact their research is having, and the role that local proteomics technologies are playing in this study. So peripartum cardiomyopathy is um, heart muscle disease, which starts in some women who have a predisposition to it, either in the last months of pregnancy or up to six months postpartum. Some of the women get better by itself, but unfortunately about one third is not improving and about 10% are dying of this condition. So the implication of a maternal death are grave to society because it leaves the children behind, it leaves the family without the mother. About 30 years ago, most people thought peripartum cardiomyopathy is a decision which occurs only in Africa. Then very little was, not, was known. In the meantime, our group uh, has really created a lot of awareness for this condition and we started a global study via a, Euro, a European program which recruited patients from more than 40 countries. The increasing capacity of hubs like Decipher to offer world-class proteomic support and specialized laboratory techniques to the CHI has enabled the group to establish itself as a world leader on home soil and open the door to future exciting research projects. This is a unique study in the sense that the samples from all over the world, including the Global North, are getting shipped to Cape Town. Having those tools available, and that includes proteomic, will really be unique to understand diseases better, but also finding solutions how to treat them and to improve the patient's outcome and care.